In this video, we're going to take a tour of this country living home here in Vail, Arizona. And the best thing about this property is that it is on 3.2 acres of fully developed land uh, out here in Vail, located just five minutes from I-10, uh, right off the freeway with beautiful views and mountain landscape. Like I said, fully developed, sitting on 3.2 acres. Um, as we're walking up here, I'm just gonna show you this too. This is zoned for horse property, and of course, what would be horse property without your very own corral. And they do have a corral and stuff right over here already built for you. That's the neighbors off to the distance there. And this is the property here. Um, also, as we walk up, this house is just a little bit over 2,000 square feet, 2,052 square feet on this home. So it's not a huge home. However, it's also not a manufactured home. And it is a full single family residence here. Again, fantastic mountain views out in Vail. So if you want space and you don't want an HOA and you don't want neighbors right on top of you, uh, this may be something that interests you, right? So over 2,000 square feet, it's a three bedroom, two bathroom home. And this property was built and this house was built in 2011. So it's a fairly new, it's a fairly new house. And that's kind of a look at the front here. It does also feature, um, as I walk around the back here, a large, large garage there and workshop area, which we're not gonna be having access to for this video, but I just wanted to kind of show you that that stuff is already in place on this property as well. So let's make our way inside and go have a look at, at this guy. And again, they are asking 675,000 for this property. And you know, 675,000 is a fair market price for a home like this um, with this amount of land here in Tucson. So also with this property, as we go in here, it is connected to city water and city electric. Nice entryway here. So there is no uh, well here. It is on a septic tank though for your sewage. So you will have a sewage septic tank. Now, as we walk in here, you can see it's got high vaulted ceilings, which really open up uh, into a nice open floor plan as you see the kitchen and living area right here. And we'll come back in there and check this out in a second. Right off of the kitchen, you do have a nice office here. This is an extra room. You could enclose that, make it a bedroom, I guess, but you got three nice size bedrooms, tile running throughout. You have carpet in bedroom number one here with a fairly big closet, little, little bit of a walk in there. And that's bedroom number one. And you can see right there, that is a little nice little archway that you can poke your head into the office from there. Um, they have a doggy door down there, I just noticed. <laughs> this also does have tall ceilings. Those are like nine or 10 foot ceilings uh, down the hallway here. Classic ranch style layout, um, center hallway with the bedrooms here. Now, this is actually not the bedrooms, but the second doorway here is your laundry and utility room right inside there and this is going to open up into the garage so we're going to quickly step into that and let you see the garage now, this is just the garage part of the house they do have open rafters so you could store stuff up there um, but yeah it's a garage man and it's definitely got its own space and workshop and over there as well off to the side reverse osmosis water it does have an electric water heater um, and you can see all that stuff looks newer which is pretty cool. So stepping back in, straight across from the garage, right when you come in here, if that's back out to the main area, and then the other two bedrooms are down this way, but this is the guest bathroom. It's tile ran right in there. They got a nice transition going on. Again, they, 
These are, um, actually this is like marble or some kind of stone on the countertops there. And those cabinets are all hardwood. It's nice. And then of course you have the commode here and a shower tub along the side. So somebody can have their privacy in here while the other person is getting ready or whatnot. Okay. And then bedroom number two is going to be here. It looks like they had some kids at one point. <laughs> Just to, by the judging by the paint anyway. But uh, it's carpeted here. It's got a large slider closet door. And it's a standard size room. Again, this whole house is not like a, a huge square footage footprint. But it is very open. It is a very open floor plan. And here's the master bedroom here straight across. That door actually opens out to the backyard. But we're going to access that a different way. So that's that there. And then through there is the bathroom. And then before we head in there, right around the corner here is just a, they have a nice walk-in closet. It's actually actually pretty deep. Goes back in there. And here's the bathroom. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking of this property because you know it is a, a little bit on the higher price point compared to some. However, it is on 3.27 acres. So that is really cool. They got a nice, uh, almost like a mud room in here. So you could put a bench there and you know, it's got some space in there. So when you get out of the shower and it's a nice big, uh, his and hers walk in shower. So definitely some nice features here, you know, reflecting the price point again, another stone. And, uh, those are all like real wood counter or cabinetry and dual, dual sinks there. And then around the corner here, you have the commode all by itself. So there's that. And that concludes that room. So those are the bedrooms. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like this video, and make sure you watch some more videos about living out here at Vail. Uh, it's definitely one of the hidden gems around Tucson that a lot of people just, when they're moving to Tucson, just aren't really aware of right away until they get introduced to it. But here's the kitchen. Again, this is a huge, big open space. Those are, again, stone countertops. I think they're marble or granite. I'm not 100% on which... But again, they have that same cabinetry and that cabinetry is matched, you know, pretty much throughout the whole building. Stainless appliances, nice sinks. So yeah, pretty nice house. Really open. I really like the openness of this. So you can see back here, just totally open. They also have wood burning fireplace back over there. So here's the main kind of like TV area. And you can see they have their TV right above the fireplace. These are also like hardwood plantation shutters. So those are pretty cool. They're definitely sturdy. And they got those throughout too. Okay. So let's go outside. If you have more questions about this property, um, be sure to call or text me. All, all my info is in the description below. We also have links to these properties as well on our website, so you can definitely check that out in the comments too. But here's the backyard. We've got a little bit of wind coming out here today. We've got a large porch. Now this is all facing east, so as you can see right now, it's in the mid-afternoon and you can see the shade. Definitely getting a lot of shade, which is real nice out here in the summer. But they got this all fully developed, again, you got a barbecue uh, fire pit over there, barbecue grill. I mean, this house has pretty much got it all, all ready to set up for you. You can see that propane tank. That is the gas supply for this property. It runs on propane. Uh, so you got electric, propane, and you got city water, and then you have septic for your sewer. Real nice pebble tech um, on this pool too.
So that's the backyard. And as we wrap it up, um, again, I'd love to hear your comments. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, go watch another video and check out some more of our home tours. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.